Welcome to Paris, where I'm here teaching for SANS this week. However, I want to take a moment to take a look at a brand new tool by Cloudflare. It's called Flanscan, and if it is what they say it is, it might be awesome. Let's take a look. Leave. We're telling secrets in the dark while drinking whiskey need. I would fall in a second if you let me, cause you're wrong. It's ironic that we're here in Paris while talking about a tool with a very French name. Let's see if Flanscan can live up to its tasty reputation. In their blog post on the topic, Cloudflare describes some poignant reasons why they created Flanscan. Specifically, they say that they created it after a couple unsuccessful attempts using industry standard scanners for their compliance reasons. This is certainly a circumstance that we find ourselves experiencing all of the time. We don't really have much in the way of options when it comes to alternative scanners. So I'm very excited to see if Flanscan has the ability to match up to the competition. Let's take a look. Getting started with Flanscan is really quite easy. Simply git clone it from the repository and then leverage the make command in order to install it. Flanscan does use Docker, so its use of make is a little non-standard, but it does work just fine. After a quick make build, you can make start to run the application. If running Flanscan on Kali Linux, you'll need to install Docker first. This can be done through its standard repository, leveraging apt install docker.io. Flanscan natively scans using a file that lists the IP addresses or network ranges going to be used for its scans. This file can be found in sharedips.txt. After editing this file to match the systems you intend to scan, you can run Flanscan using make start. Flanscan essentially leverages the Volner's Nmap scripting engine script in order to connect its service identification and fingerprinting with a potential vulnerability database. There are some downsides to this approach. For instance, in our testing, we found that Flanscan and the Volner script, to be fair, work particularly inept at identifying versions of services and discovering vulnerabilities against those services by version. For example, here we have a Windows Server 2003 device. This device has never been patched and is vulnerable to certain vulnerabilities that came out in 1999. The Volner script fails to identify the services and therefore correlate vulnerabilities against them. When we modify Flanscan to include significant additional Nmap capabilities to include Nmap's vulnerability scan modules, we see that Nmap's is able to identify many of the vulnerabilities here. However, Volner's fails to do so. This becomes exceptionally important when we start to look into the reporting features of Flanscan. Flanscan essentially takes Nmap XML formatted output and converts it into LaTeX. LaTeX can then be pushed into a LaTeX compiler to make it into a PDF-esque style format. Here we're using one that's online. Now that LaTeX has successfully run against this, we see a very basic Nmap report. Unfortunately, what we noticed as a differential between the scan that was first performed against a web server and our scan against this server 2003 device is that Flanscan has no support for Nmap XML outside of Volner's output. As a result, its reporting is exceptionally limited, and even then, quite incapable. In summation, Flanscan is a brand new tool. It's open source, and that's fantastic. Cloudflare developed this tool for some very obvious reasons. But if we dig into the source code, what we find is that there's very little substance to this. A couple Python uh, scripts, and while that's wonderful and it's outstanding to see more open source tool development, it's unfortunate and to be fair a little bit unrealistic to consider this tool a scanner. It leverages Nmap and it is able to convert a single Nmap script scans output into a reporting format. Much more in-depth and heavy development into this section I think is something that we vitally need in information security and vulnerability assessments specifically. 
Unfortunately, today, Flanscan is not that tool. In any case, I'm Matt Toussaint. It's always good to have you here. Happy hacking.